triangles inequalities in a triangle so far we are only studying what happens with the equal triangles and their equal sides and equal angles let us now see whether there is any relation between unequal sides and unequal angles of a triangle some inequalities in a triangle if two sides of a triangle are unequal the angle opposite to the longer side is larger or greater in any triangle the side opposite to the larger or greater angle is longer here we obtain a very important property called the triangle inequality which states that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side This applies to any triangle. Go to exercise 7.4 on page 132 and try to solve question 2 from the textbook. First, think about what you're going to do. Question 2. In the given figure, sides AB and AC of triangle ABC are extended to points P and Q respectively. Also, Angle PBC is less than angle QCB. Show that AC is greater than AB. Given is the inequality between two exterior angles PBC and QCB of the triangle ABC. We have to prove that AC is greater than AB. That is, based on the given information about triangles. We are asked to establish the inequality between the two sides AC and AB of the triangle. How to proceed? You might think of using the fact that the sides opposite to the larger angles are larger. But hold on. Can we use it directly? See carefully that the inequality for angles is less than type, but the one to be proved is more than type. What should we do then? What we can do is find a similar type of inequality for the angles that are opposite to the sides AB and AC. Let us think on this. These angles are interior angles of triangle ABC, namely ACB and ABC. If we are able to prove that angle ABC is greater than angle ACB, then We are done. The real question is how to show angle ABC is greater than angle ACB? Oh wait. Can we use the given information about the exterior angles PBC and QCB now? Hopefully yes. Recall an exterior angle and its corresponding interior angle are in a linear pair. a great hint now do fair work angle abc plus angle pbc is equal to 180 degrees it's a linear pair angle acb plus angle qcb is equal to 180 degrees again a linear pair but angle pbc is less than angle qcb given so 180 degrees minus angle pbc is greater than 180 degrees minus angle qcb therefore angle abc is greater than angle acb therefore ac is greater than ab proved side opposite to larger angle is larger or greater done go to exercise 7.4 on page 132 and try to solve question 3 from the textbook first Think about what you're going to do. Question 3. In the figure, angle B is less than angle A and angle C is less than angle D. Show that AD is less than BC. Okay. So first figure out what is given and we can derive from it. We are given two inequalities about angles of certain triangles. We are asked to show a similar type of inequality for the sides AD and BC. Well, seems to be an easy job, isn't it? 
Remember our mantra? Sides opposite to smaller angles are smaller. Immediately we get OA is less than OB and OD is less than OC. Hooray! But wait, this is not the question that is asked. But if you look carefully, you will notice that AD is made of OA and OD and BC is made of OB and OC. This would surely help. Now, do fair work. Here, angle B is less than angle A, given. Therefore, OA is less than OB. Side opposite to larger angle is larger. Similarly, OD is less than OC as angle C is less than angle D. Adding these we get OA plus OD is less than OB plus OC. Therefore, AD is less than BC. Done! Go to exercise 7.4 on page 133 and try to solve question 6 from the textbook. First, think about what you are going to do. Question 6. Show that of all the line segments drawn from a given point not on it, the perpendicular line segment is the shortest. Let us first understand what is given and what is asked. We must have a fixed point from which different line segments can be drawn. Call that point P. Consider a line L that does not pass through P. As the other points should be non-collinear with P, they should lie on the line L. So, we have three non-collinear points here. Why not construct a triangle with the vertices, say P, M and N then? We can take both M and N on L. So, we will have a figure like this. As we are interested in the perpendicular distance from point P to line L, draw PM perpendicular to L. So, angle M is equal to 90 degrees. The question says, show that the perpendicular distance is the shortest. That means, we are talking about comparing distances. That is, we must think of inequalities. Mantra, sides opposite to smaller angles are smaller. So, we are going to think in terms of angles and get the result in terms of lines applying our mantra. We will extend the line L even further to locate the points N1 and N2 so that we can join them with the point P. So, the final diagram will look like this. Look at the angles marked here. Now, do fair work. Consider triangle PMN such that angle M is equal to 90 degrees. Then, in triangle PMN, angle P plus angle M plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle P plus angle N is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees which is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle P plus angle N is equal to angle M as angle M is equal to 90 degrees. That means angle N is less than angle M. Therefore, PM is less than PN. Similarly, PM is less than PN1 and PM is less than PN2. Thus, PM is the shortest line segment drawn from P on the line L. Hence, the perpendicular line segment is the shortest line segment drawn from a point not on it. Done! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.